Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio and I'm going to show you the new Spitfire Chamber Strings library today. So I'm playing here the spiccato patch of the ensemble section of the library. The library is split up into five different sections, violins one, two, violas, cello and basses. There are four first violinists and three of each of the other sections. And the reason for that is that it's very hard to get two players to blend. Three is the minimum number that you really can get to blend properly. People sometimes think of chamber strings as being baroque, but for us it just means not symphonic. Why would you use chamber strings um, rather than just a, a big full string patch? Well, with this small number of players, you can easily make it sound like a real string orchestra, but you can hear the individual players as well, and there's something very kind of rich and cinematic about that. Smaller sections can also be more agile, and I'm going to show you that later in this walkthrough. So for now, let's leave the, um, the mic set up as it is, and you'll see that when you load up, you have a, a very simple looking page, which has a simple easy mix for the mics, and then the, the most commonly used controllers here. And then within this patch, you've got the most commonly used articulations as well. We're going to use the spanner page so that we can see what level the mics are at. And I'm going to start by just going through a few of the articulations. And if we have a quick listen to the longs, I'm going to start moving some of the controllers here. I'm going to move the mod wheel, or I've also assigned that to a slider, and that um, controls the dynamics of the sound. And I'm also going to move the vibrato slider, which can smoothly vibrato, go all the way from uh, non-vib to a full intense vib. So you can hear you've got a very rich sound and if I show you fully non-vib we can go from from very quiet to very loud but we can also have fully vib and still nice and quiet. So part of making this sound musical is riding these controllers, moving these controllers as you're playing so that you get a real kind of musical performance. But you can also overdub if you want to play with both hands. And then overdub, the controller moves after. That's perfectly possible as well. So let's take a look at the uh, muted strings, which are always a particularly beautiful sound. So you can hear there, you've got a really nice, um, intense, passionate sound as well. We've got our sol pont. Which is a really brittle, edgy sound. We've got our sol tasto. We've got our flautando, which is really super soft. Very beautiful sound. And of course, harmonics.
and f don't forget you're hearing the ensemble blends um, in this in this particular patch so let's go on to our shorts so we heard earlier our spiccato we've got our slightly more leisurely staccato We've got our consor consordino shorts, our muted shorts. And then pizzicatos. Top pits, our colleños, and then we've got our tremolos. which can go really, really quiet. And really, really loud. And then we've got our trills, minor seconds. And of course, major second. So we've had a look at the kind of real basic articulations. Let's just go in and look at the microphones in more detail. We'll stick with the ensembles patch for now. And I'm sticking with spiccato so that you can hear the tail of the notes. Now let's switch the uh, other mics off and just leave the close mic on. So you can hear that it's a very, very tight, intense, close sound. If we go to the Decca tree, now you're really hearing the players right there, but also you're hearing the beautiful sound of the hall. And if we go to the ambient mics, this is the most, um, the most reverberant mic. So you can hear there, your, the, those mics are higher up, you're capturing much more of the kind of um, the sound of the room as it is coming back and much less of the sound of the instruments themselves. But you can move these around to really get a fantastic, um, your, your own kind of balance. If we, look, if we put in uh, something like that, we can change it. And as you can hear, you can change it in real time as well if you really want to automate it for that kind of fantastic effect of kind of focusing in on a sound or getting a you know a real difference in the aperture of what you're at, of, of what you're hearing. Now let's move on first of all to the individual section patches here. Now these have got all of the things that you most would would probably most commonly use. So it's got a basic legato, which is the fingered legato. I'll give you a quick demonstration of that. So you can hear there, I'm just using the tree mics, but I can put in a bit of close as well. And also we can control the speed slider. So when you pull the slider right down, you get much, much more, um, a really exaggerated amount of the transition. And when you put the speed slider right up, you get much less of the transition. You can alter this in real time to get a really nice, um, a really nice kind of extra added element of musicality to your sound. So I'll, I'll give you an example of that. So 
So you can hear there, I'm having to make slight adjustments in the way that I'm playing just to, to know that certain notes are going to be slightly laggier than others. But having control over how long that actual transition takes and how long it takes the players to move from one note to the next really does um, add to the, uh, to the kind of musicality of what you're doing. So within here as well, we've got the longs. And you can hear that, that even though you've got four players, it still can sound very, very full and intense. Here are the spiccatos. We've got our leisurely staccatos, our pizzas, and our colonios, our trims. Trills. And again, with the uh, microphone control here, you've got full control over the sound. So that you can really dial in exactly the sound that you want. That's the violin one's kind of really simple dive in and play patch. Um, within the advanced folder, We've got a couple of different options in here. We've got the full range of all of our legato techniques, and I'll go into those in a minute. But we've also got all of the individual articulations. We've got our extended techniques patches, and then we've got some other patches, which include some economical versions for working on reduced systems, light resources, some time machine ones where you can alter the length of the short notes in real time. That's really useful, and we'll go into that in a minute as well. But if we look at the individual articulations, you can see exactly how much stuff you've got in this library. So we go from Disco Falls effects. The legatos have bowed. Consordino, Portamento, Consordino, Fast, Fingered, Flautando, Portamento, Flautando, Portamento, Runs, Sol G, Sol Pont, Trem. Tons and tons of stuff. Um, we've got longs, muted longs, Sol Pont played on the bridge, normal muted longs, Flautandos, harmonics, Sol G. I mean, it, the depth of sampling in this library um, is quite incredible. You've got tons and tons of stuff in here. So why don't we just dive in to the extended techniques and we'll take a look at the difference between some of these patches. So the core techniques gives you your longs, your consorts, your harmonics and again this is just those four players of the first violins. You've got your flatandos Lovely sound, your solpons. You've got your distorted solpon. It's a much more aggressive sound, soltasto. Sol G. You've got your Marcato attack. And then within the short spiccatos, feathered, staccatos, digs, consorts, pits, Bartok, and Colenio. Now, that's just the core techniques. Let's look at the decorative techniques. Within here, Long's Consord Solpont. And again, let's go to the mic mix and set up a nice mix. We've got various trems. So we've got uh, normal trems. We've got our solpons. We've got our consorts. We've got consort solpons. 
really lovely sound in its own right. We've got our measured trams. And again, sync to tempo here, so you can these can be used in any tempo. We've got our trills. We've got these fantastic minor third. and even perfect fourths. Some great stuff in there. Tons and tons of effect. Runs. Disco falls. Tense longs. and then more effects. All kinds of stuff in there. So um, these are uh, also duplicated the core and the decorative um, across all the sections, but the amount of stuff in each section does vary slightly. So the violin ones and the cellos tend to have the fullest amount of stuff. And then when you dive into the more um, esoteric stuff, that's sometimes not dupli duplicated across the sections and is represented by a rest symbol here. But we still have, for example, our violin 2 section playing Sol G. And of course, the basic stuff, your beautiful consorts. And again, that's three players there. So we could even double up. We could say, well, I wonder what it sounds like if we've got uh, our violin twos and our violin ones playing consort. Uh, the same mic mix, put them on the same MIDI channels. So that's nice and easy. And let's switch them both to consort and have a listen. Really beautiful sound. As you can hear, it's already sounding really, really full and intense, and you've only got seven players playing at the moment. So that's our extended techniques section. Um, let's look at some of the legato techniques. So let's look at the performance legato first, and let's have a quick listen to the various different options that we have here. So we've got a fingered legato, We've also got a bowed legato. And I'm triggering that by playing harder on the keyboard. And if I play very softly, I get a really great portamento. And you can hear there that you're getting, um, just by playing in a slightly different way, you're getting a really great um, kind of musical performance. If I play fast, but in a kind of arpeggiated style, I get the fast legato. But there is also a fifth legato, which is the runs legato, which I can trigger by playing a run. And all of these, you literally just are playing from the keyboard. Um, just by the different way that you play, you can load it and simply play. Really great, very, very usable, very, very easy to use. Now with the decorative legatos, We've got a variety of different options. We've got trems, solji, consord, uh, portamento consord, flautando, uh, and if we listen to just uh, just the solji as an example, it 
So it's a really great intense sound that you get from only playing on the lowest string. Obviously, as you get higher up, it gets incredibly hard um, for the players to maintain their intonation as they're making big leaps on one string. And re you really feel that. There's a real kind of musical pull, pull to it. Um, the consort, for example. And portamento. that really syrupy portamento sound and again we we've got all of the um, these different elements across the section so if we go for the celli for example have a listen to them on their own for a while uh, and let's go into the mic mixer and let's put up the close mics as well just out of interest it sounds like this So a really beautiful sound there as well. And let's jump back up. Let's have a look at some of the other patches. And one thing I wanted to show you was the time machine. Now, if we go to our staccato, you'll notice that there is now a slider that says stretch. And I'm going to show you what that does. It's in the middle at the moment, but if I pull it fully to the left, I get so much longer and fully to the right, much shorter. So what we could do, I'm going to try and do this with uh, both hands, is so you can do that in real time, it might be easy to assign it to a controller down here um, so that you can control that in real time. But you can play something and if you just want most of the notes to be roughly the same length and one just to be slightly more leisurely slightly longer as you you can just do that and blend them together it's a really really nice way of, of doing that um, as I said before the you've got different other economic and light resource patches in there so let's go back in and have a quick listen to the cello the kind of main really basic cello patch I'll stick up a quick mix um, and we've let's hear the longs on their own Really beautiful intense sound again I'm just playing with both hands so I'm not really doing anything with the controllers at that stage but to get that to get the extra degree of musicality um, get those dynamics moving spiccatos we've got our stacks pizzas collins trems and of course trills um, with our basses as well really fabulous sound in here and again with our spicks and all of the other usual stuff. Trills. Pretty tricky on the bass, so a slightly restricted range. So you can hear some really great powerful stuff in there. Even our viola section, um, commonly uh, neglected by composers. Um, but let's have a listen. Sounds absolutely beautiful.
So some really great stuff in there. And if we go again into our extended techniques and you've got all of the decorative stuff for the violas, you've got a ton of really nice things in here. course as before a bunch of amazing effects including these lovely tense longs so that's a very quick overview of the Spitfire chamber strings library it's an incredibly detailed library um, you may recognize it previously as our sable strings range um, we've consolidated everything into one package now and this is the, um, the the first release of that which is the close tree and ambient mics the most commonly used of all of the mics but with the full articulation range of the entire uh, of the previous sable chamber strings range i hope you enjoyed that walkthrough uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one thanks very much for watching as ever bye bye